This video describes the medical procedure coronary bypass graft. Coronary artery bypass graft, also called the CABG, is a surgical procedure to treat coronary heart disease. This procedure is carried out to improve blood flow and oxygen supply to the heart by diverting blood flow around a narrowed or clogged part of the major arteries. This improves breathlessness and chest discomfort and reduces the risk of heart attack. Taking medication and angioplasty may also help improve heart blood flow and sometimes a combination of treatments is needed. Before a bypass surgery, different tests are carried out, often including an electrocardiogram, blood tests, a coronary angiography. These tests enable the doctor to assess the presence of heart diseases and the exact location of the coronary artery narrowing. If you need the coronary artery bypass graft, before the operation, you will be injected a general anesthetic, meaning that you will be unconscious during the operation, which generally lasts between 3 and 6 hours. A coronary artery bypass involves taking a blood vessel from another part of your body, usually the chest, leg or arm, which is called the graft. Your doctor prepares the graft first. During the surgery, your doctor makes an incision in your chest and cuts the breastbone to reach the heart. The blood vessel is then attached above and below the narrowed or blocked area of the coronary artery. In this way, the blood flow to the heart increases, symptoms are improved, and the risk of heart attack decreases. Depending on your condition and how many coronary blood vessels are narrowed, you may need one or more grafts. In some cases, during the operation, the heart is stopped temporarily, and the blood is rerouted to a heart-lung machine, which adds oxygen to the blood and maintains circulation. After the surgery, normal heartbeat and blood circulation are restored, and the breastbone and chest are closed. Bypass surgery is not risk-free, and there are benefits as well as possible complications. The complications include wound infection, chest pain, irregular heartbeat, trouble with thinking clearly or memory loss, which often improve within 6 to 12 months. Other complications may include a kidney problem, heart attack, stroke, or not surviving the procedure. If the complications occur, blood transfusion and further surgery may be needed. Generally, the risk of developing complications is low, but it depends on your health before surgery. In any medical procedure, the benefits of the procedure need to outweigh the risk. Your doctor has taken the view that the benefits outweigh the risk in your case and recommends the procedure. If you are unclear about this, ask your doctor. Before the procedure, your doctor will ask you to sign a consent form, and if you have any questions, you can ask your doctor. After the procedure, expect to spend a day or two in the intensive care unit. During this period, your heart, blood pressure, breathing, and all the vital signs will be constantly monitored. If there are not complications, you should be discharged from the hospital within a week after the procedure. Do not stop taking your medication until your doctor tells you to do so. For a period of time after the surgery, you may find it difficult to perform everyday tasks or even walking for a short distance. You may need about 6 to 12 weeks to recover. Cardiac rehabilitation helps people to recover from surgery and reduces the risk 
of further heart problems. You can talk to your doctor about this and ask any questions you may have.